time's ringing All the rest let's wave Sing the Hello, God's family. Welcome to Daily Rima on AGTV. I continue with the teachings on the book of Acts, the early church and missions, a model for the 21st century church. Today, we are on Acts chapter 5. We are continuing from there. And the title of today's exhortation is The Gospel Cannot Be Hindered. The Gospel Cannot Be Hindered. We will look at the attempt made to hinder the gospel from reaching the ends of the earth. Acts 5, verse number 17. What does the word of God say? And I read, But the high priest rose up, and all who were with him, and fear with jealousy. Verse 18. They arrested the apostles and put them in the public prison. Verse 19. But during the night, an angel of the Lord opened the prison doors and brought them out. Hallelujah! The gospel cannot be hindered. Nobody can stop the light of the gospel from going forth, except believers. And even that, God will deal with every hindrance, every obstacle, anybody who is a hindrance, including yourself, God will eliminate you. The gospel must not be hindered, praise the Lord. Now let's look at attempts made to hinder the gospel. In Acts 17, we read that the apostles were imprisoned. They were persecuted. They were imprisoned and warned not to preach the gospel. Offenses will come. Many things will come our way that will try to stop us. Intimidation will come that will try to hinder us from preaching the word of God. Unfortunately, many are succumbing. Many are yielding. Many are opening up to those roadblocks the early church, they were in prison. The apostles were in prison. Acts 5, 17, but the high priest rose up and all who were with him. And they were filled with jealousy because that the, the apostles were making more disciples. They were leaving the, the, the religion, Judaism, and they were repenting and converting to Christianity. So because of jealousy, they arrested the apostles and put them in the public prison. I know what prison implies. Your freedom is limited. The meals there, the food there is not too good. It wasn't a very comfortable place to be. So the enemy will do everything possible to hinder the sin, the light agenda. You may not be put in prison, but he'll bring many things your way. And that could hinder you from sending the light. Hallelujah. Not only were they arrested and put in prison, they were beaten. Acts 5, 40 and 41. What does the word of God say? And I read. And when they had called in the apostles, they beat them and charge them not to speak in the name of Jesus and let them go. Did you hear that? They were beaten physically. They used canes and whips. These were matured men. Some of them were married and they were beaten publicly. They afflicted pain on their bodies so that they would not send the light. We may not suffer physical beatings, but the enemy will bring things your way that is synonymous to physical beating. It could be economic hardship, it could be divorce, it could be anything that will be so painful that will make you not feel available and ready emotionally to send the light. Hallelujah. Now, let's see the approach used to remove the hindrances in Acts chapter 5. There was supernatural deliverance. Hallelujah. Acts 5, 19 to verse 21. What does the word of God say? But during the night, an angel of the Lord opened the prison doors and brought them out and said, Go and stand in the temple and speak to the people all the words of life. Hallelujah. They were put in prison to stop them from sending the light. But the Bible reveals in the night, God sent an angel who went and unlocked their prison doors, brought their apostles out, and the angel said, go and send the light. Go and preach the gospel. The gospel cannot be hindered. No power, no government, no politician. Listen, no cabal. Nobody can stop the gospel. Come to a place where nothing can hinder you from sending the light. Hallelujah. 
supernatural deliverance. We must believe God for grace, for the ability to overcome all the roadblocks the enemy puts in our way in our attempt to send the light. God bless you, I pray, that nothing will hinder you from sending the light. Same time tomorrow, Daily Rima on AGTV. Bye for now. Let it shine.